welcome to Me May May Day 6. My name is Vicki, otherwise known as Heartland Knits, and this is where I'm documenting what I'm wearing, all the Me May items during the month of May. Usually, this is where I show all the things that I love to do, mostly sewing and knitting and roses and that kind of thing. If that sounds interesting to you, please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Today I have something that's intimidating me a little bit. You can see it right here. This is a new overlocker slash serger. New to me, it is not brand new. Um, about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, a friend of mine texted me on a on a Saturday morning and said, are you home? She lives about an hour north of me, but her mom still lives here um, in this in town. And um, she was they were on their way down to visit her mom. And she said, I have something to drop off at your house. And that was about a week before my birthday. And I was like, great, I'll be really fun to see you. So when I opened the door, this was in a big box. It's the box is sitting right back there because I just took it out of it, um, was sitting right in front of the front door. And I looked down, I was like, what, what? So this was her overlocker. Um, she's had it for about five years. Um, she wanted to uh, upgrade to one that did cover stitch. So she's getting a, a brand new one that she'd ordered. And she said, I don't, I didn't know what to do with it. They, you know, wasn't really worth like trying to trade it in. And, and she didn't want like a stack of machines around, right? And she said, I knew you didn't have one. So you, you take this one and you can try it out and then you'll know if you like it and, and whatever. She's like, it's still in really good working order. She just wanted to upgrade. So yeah, I got this cert, this um, overlocker. It's a, a Brother 1034D, which I understand is a kind of a real workhorse of a machine. Um, I, but I'm kind of intimidated by it. I feel better when she first bought this. It sat in the box for a year before she attempted to thread it. So I think I'm doing better because I'm attempting after like a month. So I feel like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I ordered thread from Wawak. I got um, just some kind of eggshell. Um, I really want to do because I'm doing those. Um, ginger jeans out of the kind of natural denim, natural colored denim, and I want to overlock along the seam allowances on the outside of the leg. I know the other pairs of ginger jeans that I've made, I've just um, zigzagged and then trimmed it close, um, but this time it'll look really professional if I can overlock. So I got that, and it's a good neutral, I, so I got variegated pink, um, yeah, because this is in my world, this is a neutral. So yeah, so she's these all these little green things are. She had these on from when when um, she, uh, she used it, telling like what all the parts were. So I have the manuals and everything. I'm going to try um, threading it just by looking at these because I'm. I feel like I'm. I'm used to learning or learning things from the written word that I'm. You know. But I know that there are lots of YouTube videos. We'll see how it goes. I haven't told you what I'm wearing yet, have I though? Um, so I have on, this is a Mimi blouse, which is by Tilly and the Buttons. I'm all in Tilly and the Buttons today. Um, this was from her first book, Love at First Stitch. I think that's what it was called. And the fabric is just this kind of embroidered cotton that I got at Joanne's. This was a bit of a wearable twelve. Um, so I didn't want to spend a lot, um, but I really like the neckline on this blouse. I know there's a, another one uh, pattern out right now that has a more of exaggerated collar, but it's this same sort of little neckline. Um, it's a little, um, the shoulders are a little too dropped on me. I, I have to, if I would want to make more of these little shirts, I feel like I need to, you know, adjust the pattern or the fit or something. Um, and I'm wearing this with a Tilly and the Buttons Cleo dungaree dress. I will stand up and show you the whole thing. So it just goes below or just above my knee. And yeah. So 
super comfortable. So super comfortable today. Let me get started and I will check back later and you'll either see bobbins or you'll see crying. <laughs> Success! It's a little over an hour and I don't know if you can see but there's a little spark start of a chain here. Threaded it just using the manual and all the little guides on it. Tells you it's color coded and I don't know why I felt so intimidated about it. Then I went on a YouTube channel to check my work. Um, it was a channel called Burly Sews, which was recommended to me um, from, I posted a picture of, of the serger when, when I received it on the Stitched Up blog Facebook group, and somebody recommended that uh, YouTube channel that they had a really clear tutorial about how to thread it. So I did it myself first, and then I watched his video just to check and make sure um, it hasn't been plugged in yet. But he said you can start to sort of um, just hand crank it to make sure it's making a chain and so it's threaded correctly. And so I did that. Um, it didn't say that in the book, but I did that and it's made a chain. So now I have to figure out how to get the foot back on. I got two needles. I'm not really sure all the ins and outs of why you would use one needle as opposed to two needles or just all of all of the things you know how to set it up um, so that's the next the next thing I have to try is doing little samples getting it plugged in and doing some little samples um, just to see what each thing does you know how it how it works but the first big hurdle has been crossed I want to thank you all for watching and if you're not already a subscriber I always say go over and, and subscribe um, I'm doing videos every day for this month but after that I won't be and then you can get notified and if you liked this and you want to say yay you did it Vicki give me a thumbs up and that would be great but anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow bye